Okay, I'm working up around the head now. You can see it. You just got to get some of that on there. Don't put on too much because then you're just trying to stretch it too far and it's, it's drawing on you and it goes a long way. So get it on there and get it overlapped where you finished up a few minutes ago. And bring it forward. Sometimes I let it get a little thin as I come up around the face just so it's not as an aggressive texture. So I don't maybe don't put as much on there. I just kind of let it fade away. Make sure you get it around the eyes as well. And you get a nice even, nice even texture. Looks pretty good the first time, but you'll want to do it a second coat. Um, when you get into tight areas around the bill and stuff, or in these areas where you you just can't quite reach with the big brush, then you got to get in there with a little brush. So that's when I switch to the other one. Try to duplicate the same kind of a texturing job with it and not leave any excess. Do yourselves a lot of favors if you don't get it in the places uh, where you don't want it in the end. You can get it off um, within the first few hours and it gets harder and harder and it then it makes it a lot tougher to clean it up later on. And I guess I, the way I do it is think about the way the feathers are laid down. So start at the tail so that as you're working your way forward, you're always overlapping and then, you know, you're not kind of going against the grain of, of the feathers. I'll go back over to the sides here now. Try to do a fairly big area here if I can. So you can see what happens where I was working on the uh, scapular feathers here when I blended it over there. Now you're almost getting a second second application there. So don't worry about that too much. Just make sure it's nice and even. finish this up and then I'll come back in a minute. So I've completed uh, all of the areas of the birds. Uh, probably takes about 20 minutes or so. 
to do that um, and um, you know it's it's fairly even but as I say it'll get better as you do uh, as, as you do another coat one thing um, you should watch for when you're doing that this is that uh, these brushes will sometimes uh, they'll uh, they'll shed some bristles and you want to always be watching for that I had one got a little one right in there just get that off and make sure you fix up fix up the work in that area so that's all there is to it uh, to that and uh, I would let it let it dry um, you, you can kind of work on it maybe in another couple hours um, you can uh, sand it lightly and do a second coat I'll come back and do a little bit um, uh, a little sequence there on the second coat and, uh, and we'll pick it up there if you get any around over on the bottom there where you don't want it, just use a wet or a damp uh, piece of paper towel and just wipe that off while it's uh, still soluble and then uh, and they'll be good. Anyway, we'll come back shortly. Okay, so I completed the two coats on this bird and uh, even things out pretty good. Um, I've gone over all the surfaces with um, about a 150-200 sandpaper and just lightly sanded it so that it takes off the roughness of that finish and flattens out that texture just a little bit. Um, notice on the face area up here, um, I kind of faded off. I didn't put a second coat on that area. I faded off the texturing and uh, and let it just you know uh, disappear into the bill area. I like that nice smooth look around the face there. Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. When you're going over with the sandpaper, make sure you uh, you get all the edges imp important along the edges. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time when it comes to painting some of the detail uh, that you might want to put into it, and uh, so that there's nothing, um, no sort of little bits sticking up from any of the edges. So it should feel relatively smooth to the touch, and then um, uh, you're gonna gesso this prior to um, prior to your paint. I'll usually mix. Um, white I'll have white gesso for the white areas and then the dark or black gesso for the black areas if I'm going to do some uh, in feather shading in the dark feathers of course we got to pick a medium value probably the brownish uh, or grayish tone at the base of the feather use that in the gesso uh, as opposed to pure white or pure black um, other than that that's all there is to the stippling and um, I hope it works out for you take care